Hey guys, welcome back to another short, sweet little walkthrough. Today we're actually going to be doing the 305 Montana High Country. Unit comes in at 10,590 pounds, which is going to make it extremely light for the size, for the room you get. Not only that, it's gonna be an extremely affordable product. We're gonna show you first is the outside of this unit. As you can tell, well, the new color, color scheme this year is gonna be athletic looking and a little sexy. I like it, I like it a lot. One thing I do like about Montana is it's going to have that backup mirror on the bottom of that front cab. It's gonna make it easy, no fights, no arguments when backing up so you can see that kingpin going into your hitch. I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through a little bit of the points on the outside and then we're gonna bring you inside and feature benefit that. We're gonna make it short and sweet. So quite frankly, watch this video. Another good thing about this unit is it's going to have huge pass-through storage per usual on any Montana. 100% pass-through storage, one-touch leveling system. It's short and sweet. Let's go ahead and go on the inside. We'll do a quick walkthrough on the outside and we'll see you guys in there. Hey, my legs were crossed again. That means we're gonna talk trailers. All right, first thing you're gonna notice back here is the power's not turned on. That's right, it's not plugged into a battery. Look how light this is. Look at the big bay window in the back. You got property, you wanna wake up, you wanna have coffee. You have light and big windows everywhere. Absolutely everywhere in this coach. Not only the back, you got two going this way with windows that open 50%. What does that mean for you? You get that cross breeze, you get that ventilation. You don't wanna run the AC, you want that nice, Beautiful spring or fall breeze coming in, get that scent in your nose, that camping scent. Hopefully good. Open these windows, get some cross ventilation. What I'm gonna show you here is what I'm sitting on is not just a couch for entertainment that has three cushions so you can fit up to three adults, three children, mix and match, I don't care. Three people on this couch. It's gonna pull out to a full queen. A full queen. You can sleep two adults comfortably on this. Me and the guy, the guy behind the camera right now, we can both fit on this. We don't want to, but we can. It's going to be a trifold. What that is going to mean is, it's not going to be the traditional, like when I grew up, you wake up and I still got spring marks on my back. These are going to have four inch cushions, so you're actually going to sleep comfortably and wake up in the morning not disliking yourself. This line is all Thomas Paine. This is Thomas Paine furniture. If you notice how comfortable this is, it's got the plush feel. It is extremely homey feeling. It's a residential feel. So not only do you got the couch, it comes out the trifold, the big bay windows and the huge storage with lighting everywhere, which isn't even on right now. Let me show you these recliners. <coughs> so, oh, that's nice. That's nice. You're going to have the Thomas, Thomas Plain recliners that are going to come with two cup holders. It's going to come with storage down in here. Like I said, it's a residential feel. It's a residential line of furniture. Not only that, once you're plugged in, you're going to have a power recliner. You're going to have both up and down at your leisure. You're sitting directly across from the fireplace on a TV, which we're going to show you in a second. But again, this unit, the windows. Look at the windows behind me. Look at the windows in the back. Everywhere. If you have any property whatsoever, you've got a beautiful campsite, you want to see what's going on around you, this is a unit for you. 10,590 pounds. It's light. You're pulling a light, beautiful house at an affordable price with great construction. It's going to be an all-season package on this, heated and closed underbelly. It's not just radiant heat. This is going to force heat down to your completely sealed underbelly. What that's going to do is it's going to eliminate rats, squirrels. We don't like those. Mice from nesting up in there creating babies. We don't like one. We don't want ten. So beautiful rated right down to freezing. You're going to have force air going through this entire thing to make it short and sweet. Not only that, but when you're traveling, you got pesky rocks, you're going through construction, this is going to save your black, fresh, and clear water tank from getting hit with rocks. Again, I'm going to show you a little bit more of this trailer. Stay tuned. It's an extra leaf! Sitting at the dinette, freestanding dinette, four chairs, and again, you're having coffee in the morning. Look, what, well, look what's next to me. Another bay window. There's three bay windows in the back part of this camper. Natural light. Again, no lights on. She's pretty. And again, every single window in this trailer is going to be able to get open to 50%. So again, you get that cross breeze coming in. You got side to side. You got east to west. You're good to go. Now, if you want to go ahead and follow me, 
Like I said, this does have the extra leaf. You got someone extra, you got an extra chair, you can sit someone here comfortably. Let's go ahead. Furion. That's the type of fireplace you're going to get in here along with the stereo system. CD, DVD compatible. Like we were saying, Aaron is actually sitting on those two beautiful Thomas Paine recliners. It's going to be sitting directly across from here. So not only do you get little storage areas and another light here, you're going to get a flat screen TV. You're going to get a zone control from the bedroom, from the inside, from the outside for all of your radios. You've got a game going on. Anything like that is going to be controlled from this system right here. I'm going to go ahead and pop this up. We're going to show you down here. It says an overheating safety cutoff. This is all electric. What that means, you don't want to burn your propane. You come in here, you're plugged in at a campsite. Turn that on. Not only do you get the ambiance of the different colors that it changes to, you also get the heat from it. I'm going to go ahead and stand up and I'm going to go ahead and show you this gas and electric fridge, not residential, so you can use it on and off the road. Two door freezer, two door fridge. Extremely, extremely, extremely roomy. Look at all the storage and the size, which I do like about these high countries. You got the storage for condiments, maybe some beverages. You got all your vegetable drawers down there and you got plenty, plenty of room for everything if you're going long term. Your sham for a week, or maybe you just like to prepare yourself and pack a lot of food for a short amount of time. Go ahead and open up the freezer because that is normally the first thing. If you have seen anything, you've looked at tra trailers, campers, I don't think I've ever showed anyone a unit where the first thing that a husband or wife comes in, if they don't go like this, they probably haven't looked at campers before. So I'm going to go ahead and show you. It is going to have the split, it is going to be deep, approximately 12 inches, so you can fit more than just a hamburger in there. You can get your vegetables. You can get your meats. It's going to be amazing being a gas and electric. What we are, are going to have here is going to be a splash guard protected three burner on the top along with the oven on the bottom. This oven is actually quite roomy. You can actually cook something. You like your spaghetti, your Italian, like me, rigatoni, masticcioli, anything. You can fit in there, cook it up so you do get a home cooked meal if that's something you're into. Gonna have a super, super deep, again with the 12 inches. Montana likes to stay with, with the 12 inches. You can fit a full size plate in there. You don't gotta downsize, you don't gotta shorten up your meals. You can fit a full size, full size plate in here for your meals. As you can tell, you're also gonna have storage up above here. Being a 30 foot camper, they utilize this everywhere. With the island, you're also gonna have storage. Garbage. Silverware drawer, and you're going to have four individual drawers on the right side. If you go ahead and pan to this side, we're going to notice A, the clearance in this camper, 6 1. <clears throat> and B, the little pantry you get for being a 30 foot camper. They pack everything in here convenient and nice. You're going to have a, an actual area you want to put your keys, you want to put some decorations, you want to do anything when you come in. I lose my keys a lot, that's something that is going to work for me. You're going to have the pantry, you're going to have the overhead storage, you're going to have the plug-ins here as well. Four different 110 plug-ins. you got a coffee maker you want to put over here, anything, you want to charge your cell phones, you want to charge your camera from taking pictures when you're out camping. And if you'd like to, let's go ahead and show you the bedroom. We'll show you the bathroom, we'll do one quick little walkthrough on the outside, and we'll see you guys later. This is roomy. Again, a good thing about Montana's is I can stand in here. You have a full size bed in here, which is extremely nice. You've got plenty of space. You got shoes. You got anything you want to hang. This unit is going to give you the capability to store everything you need in here without crunching it in. It's a washer dryer prep. Yeah, washer dryer prep. If you are long term. That is something that definitely benefits. You can fit a stackable in there and get all of your laundry done on the road. You're going to go ahead and notice here, you are going to have outlets USB on his and her sides in the bedroom. You're going to have a thermostat in the back here because this unit does have, yep, two ACs on it. So if you want to go ahead and follow me, I'll show you the bathroom. You got towel storage in the bathroom. You got plenty of room, nice deep things, not only that. Look at that shower. I can fit in here comfortably. 
Again, 6-1. I keep mentioning that. I'm not showing off. I just want to make it extremely evident that you can stand up and be comfortable everywhere in this unit. You're going to have the corner bathroom with a foot flush. Nice and easy. you got storage back there for all your towels, all your needs, everything that you need. You're going to have storage below this as well. You're actually going to have a hard insert in here. None of the chintzy chipboard. You're also going to have traditional medicine cabinet. So everything in this unit is going to feel, I keep saying the word residential, but this is essentially a home on, re or home on wheels. It really is. Let's go ahead and show you the outside. I was talking about pass-through storage earlier. Take a look at this. Unobstructed, full pass-through storage. This thing is almost so big that you can fit a kayak in here. What I'm going to show you here is it's going to be your docking station. So you got cold, you got everything at the touch of a button, you got it isolated out of the elements and hidden. You got your black and gray tank flush right here. You got a winterizing option on this as well. Not only that, you got a residential, I say the word again, but you have a hot and cold water outside shower on here. So you got dirty dogs, dirty kids before they get in your beautiful camper, they can get out here, utilize the outdoor shower, get them in clean to avoid a mess in the future. One more time guys, this is going to be Corey McCullough down here at Hilltop RV and Ishmael. 906-485-0200. Give us a call anytime. We are open Monday through Friday 9 to 6, Saturday 9 to 4. Hope to see you guys soon and per usual, happy camping.